years and what does the service look like? And that'll help us kind of refine what the stations will look like as well. Our budget, you can see, is 4.529 a million. Emergency medical services, just a little over 50% of it, and fire suppression uh, picks up the next big chunk as we go through that. Um, even though emergency manage is only 2%, it's because it's really built into all of our areas that we have in there, emergency management, uh, as well as the fire suppression and emergency medical services. Um, all of those things fit in there, and so they work together. Um, budget summary, as you can see, the administration hasn't changed. We had a, a, a decrease in um, emergency management, and, uh, and it wasn't a lot of dollars, but we moved those around a little bit. Emergency medical services is up to 4.2%. Fire prevention, we've been doing a great job of where we've been at, so that was just basically COLA. And then the fire, procession, fire pres suppression side of it, excuse me, is up to 62 and as City Manager Coleman uh, mentioned before, these are the two full-time new daytime firefighters that we're looking at. Also, that does not include their full dollar amount. Where we got 50% of the salary from was actually by not utilizing our part-time staff during the day where these times these folks will fit in. And so we were only needed about 75, or excuse me, 50% of new money in order to get this accomplished. So it'll work out very well, I think, in the future as, as we go forward. And our overall percentage, as you can see, is the 4.6%. And the other poor part of it, which I could mention in another area, is that we did take advantage, as uh, Chief Snell did, regarding the uh, new rental program that we're trying through enterprise okay. great again here it kind of goes in line with that you can see personal services are at 4.8 and the capital and depreciation is at 9.8 and that's really because this year we took uh, uh, ownership of our new ambulance and that's just the additional appreciation that goes in to cover that purchase It's broken down by two, as you're well aware of. The Ambulance Service Fund is an enterprise fund, um, and uh, we're at 4.3, and then out of the general fund is the remainder of that area of about 5%, which gets us a total of 4.6%. How many, uh, Chief Lucan, how many uh, ambulances do we own? Right now, we own five ambulances. Do we own them or lease them? Or do we? Yep, oh, we own, own every one. Okay. Uh, ambulances aren't a leasable product. We looked at that, and we talked through it um, with um, the enterprise group to see if we couldn't do that as well in the future and that's one item that they don't uh, lease out otherwise that would have been definitely something we would have looked at we can reuse the box on the back of it a couple of times at least depending and uh, we were going to look into that unfortunately we can't do that okay thank you I remember when they had the auction you said they sell them as food trucks yeah yeah so they, yeah. Can, <laughs> they convert them so they're somebody uses them and we don't get a whole lot of great a lot of depreciation not great resale but at least they're yeah usable. well you know and, and and that's the problem i mean the good news is they sell better at resale than a fire truck does but even though they don't cost anywhere near what a fire truck does um one of the other things too is that uh ambulances with the with the four that we have in service and then the fifth one is another backup um we we do use it quite a bit when ambulances are down we just can't take one out of service we have to make sure we have one in each of the stations all the time so that's where they get settled around okay as you can see here, um, the, incre the uh, equivalency of full-time just went up by those two firefighters that we talked about. Otherwise, we stayed pretty much the same. Um, I would point out when it comes to personnel that we've utilized the new uh, hiring system, uh, Gov, that uh, the HR director, Mr. Funk, put in line. It worked very well for us. Uh, we had over 700 hits on our, uh, uh, our, our ad that we had out there. Uh, we ended up with 40 applicants, which is really good. Um, we did make a couple of changes. Uh, we didn't have a requirement you needed to be within so many miles or minutes of the city. Um, we think that helped, but also I think this gave it another avenue where they could go out, they could look at it, they could really see what we were about and be able to determine if they wanted to do that. Now, we're hoping that after we look through all their credentials and that that's there, that we'll get at least 14 or 15 of those that we can interview and we'd like to take on eight or a few more if we had the availability for part-time staff. Oh, for part-time, yeah. okay. So then it's the equivalent of two full-time? Or am I, I'm, you know, mis it, I'm it, mixing it, up my... Uh, yeah, it really isn't. We need about five five people equivalent one if, if we could get them to work all the hours and so really it's about maybe one and, and a quarter or so depending on you know how they work in that one of the other changes we made and we're going to give it a try is that right now when we did this five years ago uh, we required all part-time people to work 36 hours in a month and we moved this new group up to 48 hours so we're hoping we can get some better coverage I will say though where we were a little disappointed 